Have you ever wanted to have an Apple as a watch? No, neither have I, but we're checking out the Apple Watch today. Hello Internet, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I've got my full review on the Apple Watch Series 1. So I picked up my Apple Watch back in May for my birthday, so I've had this now for about 4 months and I've been using it pretty much every single day. I cannot wear it at work, but the majority of the week I am wearing this watch and I've been testing it now for so long. So I have quite a lot to talk about because we now have Watch OS 3, which has changed the game for Series 1 holders. And now we have the Series 2 Apple Watch as well. So this is a video basically detailing my experiences with the Series 1 and we will come to a conclusion on whether it's worth getting the Series 2 or the Series 1. Watch OS 3 though is a massive upgrade. So I will get onto that very soon. But initially when I picked up this watch, I was super excited. You know, I set everything up, I got brand new apps, I was using the messaging feature, and then it got to a period where I started using this as more of an activity tracker, which is super rewarding. I love those rings, as simple as they are. They're colorful, they're engaging, and they make me hit my goal every single day, which is a really great thing for a watch. Um, I also love wearing this, I can't take it off. I picked up a really cool case for my watch. It is a sub case for the Apple Watch, so if you're a looking for a super robust case that will hold the test of time then definitely pick this up. I got myself a screen protector as well just so I didn't have to be super careful around the screen but the screen is quite a protected screen. It does take a pounding which I like to hear in a girl. I mean watch. I will admit after the first couple of months the gimmick kind of did wear off a little bit. I noticed myself putting the watch into aeroplane mode and just trying to get as much battery life out of it which was great at that period in time. I noticed myself getting close to 18 hours which which they do promise I didn't have to charge it every single day which was really great and I noticed myself using it as a sleep tracker a uh, health monitor with the uh, the heart rate monitor when I was at the gym and also the activity tracking and then I just used it as a timepiece as well and that was in the first couple of months I guess after I actually received it and then I started really getting back into it again. I turned it off airplane mode, I connected it to my phone and I started using it as a notification thing that I could glance at whenever I was busy. So I started using it for messaging, I started checking emails, important emails that I was waiting on, uh, I still use the activity tracker quite a lot and then I started using Apple Pay as well which was really funny because I got about three or four comments from people at retail stores that were just blown away saying what you actually used your watch to pay for that which is a pretty cool thing but it became a bit of a gimmick and I started just using my phone or my card but it's great to have that functionality on a watch as well uh, really handy if you need uh, kind of quick payments or if you want quick glances this little watch here is great but then the thing that really took it to the next level was watch OS 3 now I was using Watch OS 2 and different versions of it that they had fixed and played around with, but then when Watch OS 3 came out, I started falling in love with the watch a lot more. So now you can actually scribble to reply to messages, so if you've got a little message that you want to reply to, if you want to reply with an emoticon or something, or some sort of quick response, then that was really easy. But now we have an app dock, and my biggest complaint was app development. People weren't really getting behind the Apple Watch, and that was because things weren't refreshing. So if you open Messenger, and I replied to a message for example, quit out, did something else, came back to Messenger, it wouldn't actually refresh the application. So that was really frustrating, and from what I saw they were doing that just to try to uh, minimize on battery drain, but with this new update you can put favorite apps in the app dock and they will refresh, they will also launch instantly, they'll run in the background, and that's really handy, and I believe that this will further develop the actual app space for the Apple Watch, and I really hope this does happen, because because there's a lot of potential, but the apps that I did use, nothing blew me away, nothing was amazing. I genuinely do believe that it is beneficial to have all of this access to all of these different applications on your wrist. It is still a device that has to connect to your iPhone, it isn't a standalone device, and a lot of people are complaining about that because a lot of watches on the market are standalone devices, but this works really well if you are within the Apple ecosystem. If you have an iPhone or whatever else, then this definitely works really well because everything's synced together. Now, a few little things that I really loved when I was using the maps application on my phone it would immediately bring up the directions on my watch and when I came up to a turn it would actually make an indicating noise and vibrate so it gave me haptic feedback as well as auditory feedback to let me know that there's a turn in coming up which was really nice and also at a glance I could pull it up and I could control my music on my iPhone so I could skip songs while I'm driving um, I could also take phone calls which is really handy when you've got your hands on the steering wheel you can focus 100% on the road and the microphone does 
does a really good job. It picks up quite a lot of audio, so it does a great job when you're out and about, and it also does a great job in closed environments as well. So is it worth picking up a Series 1 Apple Watch? Now, I definitely believe it is. This is one of the most enjoyable watches that I've owned in my entire life. I am quite a watch collector. I've got heaps of other watches and activity tracking bands and stuff, but the Apple Watch really sung out to me, I guess, because it connects to my iPhone, it feeds everything directly to my wrist, so I can check notifications, uh, I can track my activity when I'm at the gym, I can use the map, use the phone, I can use all of these different features. Everything's snappy fast, everything's super responsive, it looks beautiful on this display as well. Also the display does a really good job in direct sunlight as well, it's a great little display, the microphone on it's great, the little speaker as well is pretty decent, the haptic feedback that you get, uh, the reading, the heart reading, all those small little things that this Apple Watch is built around, the core functionality of it is fantastic and they've done a great job here. Now I I would really love to see some more app development and I believe with watch OS 3 that's what they were going for I think we will see some more exciting apps coming out now is it worth picking up the series 2 watch now it is waterproof it's gonna be a lot faster and everything um, but that just depends I guess for me I'm happy that I have the series 1 I'm not phased that I don't have the series 2 it's not a massive upgrade in my opinion but guys Definitely check it out, do your research before you pick it up. I do have the larger screen as well, I have the 42mm I believe. Uh, you can also get a 38 or something, don't quote me on that, I should have looked this up. But anyway, it's a decent price for what you're getting. It is quite expensive, but I just picked up the basic sports one, and it does a great job. You know, you can purchase third party bands online, screen protectors, and this watch will last you for years. I believe with Watch OS 3 as well, it's responsive and snappy enough for me to want to use this watch for years without wanting to upgrade grade. Uh, I'm glad that Series 1 holders do get OS 3 because that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, overall, really great watch, guys. I'm rambling now. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below if you do own one. Let me know if you pick up the Series 2. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see on the channel. Make sure to have a fabulous day, though, guys. This is one of my favorite products that I've tested so far. I love watches, and the Apple Watch is great, guys. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, this is a must-have. Anyway, guys, have a fabulous day, and peace out.